Okay, another vlog. It's not so windy today, so hopefully we can get away with it for a minute. I'm going to give you another a story today, another cough story. It's not in the area, but I can't keep rambling for days. It's like day 15 or something. So Lady Godiva, Cov, what's the deal with that? Naked woman on a horse. Did she exist? What did she do? She's on my badge. You can see her there on a horse. So she did live. She was a real person. Um, wife of the Earl of Mercia, Earl Leif Leifric at the time. Uh, Anglo-Saxon uh, sort of family. They lived They, they lived in Cov, but... Mercia is a massive area. I mean, just look at Wikipedia, what Mercia was. Um, they had homes in Eversham and all around the Midlands as it is today. And the Eversham actually is where they think she's buried, or under St Mary's Priory in town. But she did exist. The story about the horse riding around naked, maybe not true, but could have happened, but probably didn't. That was made up some hundreds of years after she existed. Um, they lived around the time of the Norman Conquest. Uh, actually, well, Leifric might have died just before. Um, Lady Godiva lived past him, so I think she was around for the Conquest. Um, and maybe died just after. But her land and their land was definitely mentioned in the Doomsday records. Uh, because they had all sorts going on. So. Anyway, the story um, where the phrase Peeping Tom originated uh, is that Leifric raised some taxes, Lady Godiva being the good feminist icon that she is, said I'm going to ride around naked on a horse in protest of this and everyone was told don't look at a naked woman on a horse, don't want to be doing that. But Peeping Tom had a little peep whoop, and went blind. Uh, from the occasion so you know take from that what you will hence why that fabulous 1950s clock in Broadgate shows uh, Lady Godiva coming around on her horse and then peeping Tom having a look and then scarpering off because he's been blinded by a naked woman um, the best image I think of Godiva I mean Godiva chocolate try to copyright the name or trademark the name Godiva which is obviously ludicrous uh, to stop people using it um, they're in Belgium I mean, and they were founded like 1890 or something stupid uh, Lady Godiva lived in like you know died in like 1080 something like that so it's a bit silly really but that's a famous image because the image on the chocolate is woman on a horse and uh, the John Collier painting, I and mean, it's taking this sunset while we can. Uh, pretty again, very pretty. Uh, the John Collier painting in the Herbert Art Gallery is a good one. But there's quite a lot of Godiva images around. Great symbol. Uh, the statue obviously in Broadgate again, really good one. But it's a good story, you know, protesting and against the, the, the government of the day, trying to get what you want. But she did exist, she was a massive landowner, very wealthy, set up a number of churches, Ansley uh, is a good one, I stopped there on the way back from a cricket match once and that's one of her churches, founded lots of churches, lots of land. Um, she gave relics to St Mary's Priory, uh, famous jewels, but they were um, taken in the Reformation so we don't know what happened there. To the, to the various uh, items but yeah she did exist real person good story peeping tom is a phrase you'll all know and that's where that is from and yeah thousand years of history and fun <laughs>